John Reed, JDOD.com. We've got David Bull of McAfee. We're going to talk cloud security today. So here we are at the cloud event, and right before I came here, uh, a manager in a large enterprise setting said, when he found out I was going, he was like, what about data security? Is my data secure? Is this a question that a lot of customers still have, or are we starting to move through that into, okay, we can use the cloud, it's not a problem. Where are we? It is definitely a question that almost everyone still has. Even if they think they're familiar with how it works, they still have questions about it. I think I, I've said this earlier today, but I literally get one, two, three emails a week from a, someone who's looking to deploy in the cloud. They want to know about McAfee's technology, and if, for example, they want to make sure that they get an email from me that says, we never write your information to disk. You know, we don't track where you are. How do well, what do you what do you mean you don't you want to make sure you don't write it to disk? You know, if you're talking about, for example, an email solution, uh, you know, if you want me to not write it to disk, what am I supposed to do with your emails if, you know, let's say I need to quarantine something or or if I you know your email server goes down, what am I going to do with that information? So they they're not necessarily thinking it all the way through at this particular solution that they're looking at, thinking, right, okay, well it's a good solution. I want to make sure you're not really keeping anything though. Well, we have to keep it just to help you. We're not looking at it. We can encrypt it and do all that sort of stuff, but we don't care about your information. We just want to make sure your needs are taken care of. So we have a tendency to open ideas a lot when we get down to these kind of discussions. Mm -hmm. So do you think the problem is really more at this point an educational problem more than a, a technical, genuine security concern problem? Or um, If they decide not to put any security in place, it could be a problem, but a lot of it's an educational type issue. You know, mm -hmm. they, they think it's all working just like a server they have in their back room somewhere. You know, they're not thinking about the multi-threads going on, the architecture behind the scenes. What happens if a data center falls? Or these are kind of worst case scenarios, but uh, you know, we can move data around. We ought to make sure they're aware of what's going on before we move forward. Mm -hmm. So what would be your response to vendors, we won't name any names, who would spread fear, uncertainty, and doubt around cloud security? What would you say? Well, I mean, spreading fear and doubt around it really comes down to, you know, just do a little homework. You know, I don't, I don't mind having to make sure that people understand what's going on. You know, if you're going to talk to a vendor you're not necessarily familiar with them, they, pro they provide a cloud offering. You know, look behind the scenes, you know, just don't take them at their word, for example. Do they have certification, a SAS certification, an ISO certification? If they say they've got 50 data centers around the world, well, what is a data center? You know, the word data center can mean a lot of different things when it comes to cloud technology. So make sure you understand what they have and what they're going to be providing. Contract uh, negotiations are always pretty key around that area. Mm -hmm. So we're about two-thirds of the way through the first day. You picked up anything interesting, surprised you in, in the floor? Uh, let's see, I'd say interesting is the, the lack of security um, knowledge, number one, but even when you look around the floor, it's a cloud show, but there's what, maybe two or three security vendors that are here. I'm surprised there aren't more here trying to say, hey, the cloud can be done securely. This is how you go about doing it. So it, what happens is people don't come to talk to Mac necessarily, and they're walking by, and they turn their head, they see Mac, they go, oh, security, well, what do you guys do for cloud? And they have to, they get a total new concept when it comes to securing information they have in the cloud or moving it to and from their enterprise to the cloud. So mm -hmm. it's interesting. We notice a lot of CIOs and IT directors are here at this event, and of course, they're intrigued by the promise of cloud, but they also know that if there is a major security problem as a result of doing a cloud project, that their butt's on the line, essentially. So mm -hmm. what would be your advice to uh, that type of person who's looking at cloud but wants to make sure they have their bases covered? What should they do? So if it was me, you know, and I wasn't that knowledgeable about the cloud, one of the first things I would do is do a pilot. There's nothing wrong with doing a pilot, and a lot of the SaaS providers actually can give you, you know, 30-day free trials. What's wrong with trying that? You know, make sure you understand what's going on, how it's going to be deployed, how it's going to affect your organization. And then, of course, maybe you want to look at something like a service level agreement, you know, the SLA that the organization is going to be providing. So understanding those basic things will get you a long way towards where you want to feel more comfortable with deploying it moving forward. Mm -hmm. Looking forward with McAfee's enterprise plans, what do you think is your um, biggest challenge? How are you going to overcome it? Uh, actually, we are overcoming a lot of obstacles with our new cloud security platform. It's a great platform to start off with, with the, secure, um, sorry, with the SaaS technology, whether it be email, web, identity management, having SaaS applications talk to one another. It's all about securing information going to and from the enterprise in the cloud and doing it in a way that makes everybody comfortable in the way. All right, well, we'll see where we stand next year. Cloud security, folks.